Hey y'all, Street Gem is here again. Hope you all been fine in this twisted world. Today we will focus on 50mm on GFX bodies, which makes a 39.5mm in full frame terms, and 50 makes a 40 on the GFX bodies. I get to try infinite numbers of lenses from all the brands. Here are the first three of them. A Canon 50 1.4, the Fujifilm 50 3.5, and a 7 Artisans 1.1. Let's start with the EF50 1.4, okay? It is kind of slow to focus and misses the focus here and there, which you will see. There is character to it, not so much. It's very close to being clinical, but there is character. If you it's all up to how you grade your photos, the color grading. Yeah? There's a little bit of vignetting, even though it's not as hard as the seven artisans, it is present. And the depth of field is really incredible. It's like shooting uh, 0 0.9 Noctilux like a lens. Everything just goes out of the focus. Uh, yet because of the focus issues, I wouldn't use this lens as my main uh, 50 millimeter lens for the streets. So I've changed the Fuji 50mm 
which was like made exactly for this body, our the GFX bodies in general. It is the fastest to focus and it is very clinical and it is really sharp. So if you are looking for like the top quality images, this is your lens. But the thing is like as it gets dark, it's uh, f-stop being like 3.5. Is not gonna produce you with enough light, and uh, you not getting enough light is gonna cause you to boost up the ISO, and you're gonna get like old messy images, you know. Therefore, you need something on the side. This lens is like really good for like professional shoots, for flash sh studio shoots, everything else. But other than that, on the streets, as soon as it gets dark, you're done with this lens. Well, but during a good day, good light, this lens is unbeaten from this tree. I just felt like saying that. Passing on to the seven artisans, it is the cheapest of the three and no AF so the focus speed is all up to your manual focus skills. There is a very heavy vignette, as you step down the distance the vignette goes away a bit and the tin depth makes it harder to focus wide open so I suggest you tighten your aperture to f2 or 2.8 and you will have many nice images.
when they produce the very same angle. So this will be a long journey to find the best 50mm for my medium format. Keep in touch people by subscribing and yeah hit the bell button don't forget it or you will see my videos so I don't know what's the point of being subscribed if you do not hit the bell button. Thank you and goodbye.